Hey y'all, so I'm sitting here at the airport. It's been an hour since I've signed in and I haven't gotten called yet. There's nothing on the open time board and it looks like I'm not gonna be getting called unless they put a lot of stuff on the open time board because I'm not even first on the list. And it also has to be an international trip because I am in the international terminal. Now, they can actually call me over there to the domestic terminal, which would still be better than sitting here in the airport because I just moved into my new place and it cost me $40 to get here. So I'd much rather get called into work than sit here the whole time. But I'm about to go into the crew lounge. I really don't like going in there, especially in the international terminal because it's tiny. I'm going to head in there. I'm going to read or play sims or edit videos i'm gonna find something to do let's go okay so i just got back from four hours of standby and i did not get called for day one i will check in with you guys tomorrow see if i get a trip an assignment anything hopefully so you have been assigned rotation report time is 0 4 50 on january 21st Press one to confirm receipt of this information. Thank you, goodbye. Hey guys, it is actually freezing here in Boston, so I'm just like all cuddled up for the day. It's day two of standby, and I actually just got called for a trip for day three of standby. And I'm gonna be flying as flight lead because I am off probation now, so I can be just given flight lead assignments, which is good. I mean, I get the extra pay, but I don't like being flight lead at all. But since I know I'm not going to sign in until tomorrow, early in the morning, like 4.30 a.m. is my report time, I can um, put in for a move up. Since I'm flight lead, I can get moved up to an international trip or I can call and try to get a release to report, which just means they can't call me for any other trips until tomorrow. So I don't have to be here on edge thinking they're going to put me on a different trip. So I'm going to try to put in for a move up. I don't exactly know how that works. I haven't done it before, but I'm going to do some research on that. And we might get to go on an international trip tonight. So I'm going to make sure I'm really chilling today, not doing too much, because either I have to get ready to work an international trip, or I'm going to have to wake up super early, like maybe at 2 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, chill day, sitting here, watching some MasterChef, playing Sims, editing videos. Pretty much everything that I do when I'm on standby in the airport, just doing it in bed. Good morning, you guys. Please ignore my room. I just moved into this place. It's three o'clock on the dot. I need to take the four o'clock bus and I need to take like a 30 minute Uber just to get to the bus. So yeah, I'm trying to do something with my hair and makeup really quick. So we're starting a three day trip today and I'm flight leader. It's probably my first time being flight leader in at least two months, probably more than that. Um, and it's my first time being flight leader like since I've been off probation, like being not escalated, like I'm just flight leader because I can be. But every time I'm flight leader, I try to put a little extra into my appearance. So here's my flight information for today. I only have two legs. I know I have a full meal on the first one. I don't know if I have a meal on the second one. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready and I'll check in with you guys after I'm done. Okay, you guys, I'm pretty much ready. I actually am going to put my hair all the way up just because I think it looks more like, I just like it a lot more pulled back when I'm gonna be working with the food and everything in first class. So if you like flight attendant vlogs, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I am doing flight attendant February. I'm posting a flight attendant video for every single day of February, supposedly. Y'all already know how I am. We'll see. Let's go to work. One last thing, also I have mints in my mouth, sorry. So I want to show y'all this thing that I got from Etsy. I'm so excited. Isn't it so cute? It's this picture of me and my dad from graduation. So yeah, it's so cute. So I gotta check to make sure I can wear it, but I think I'm gonna do it anyways. If I can't put it here, I'm just gonna put it somewhere that you can't see it, but I'm gonna have it on me at all times. Isn't it just so cute? My dad was just so proud of me and it's just, it's been six months from this day. I'm off probation now. Yeah.
Okay, so I just got to the airport. I did get randomed, but it's fine because I actually got here like 45 minutes earlier than I thought I would. So I'm already signed in. Now I'm about to go through the crew room and get some like flight leader stuff and go wait at the gate. So I'm on my way to the crew room. I already looked at the flights for the day. Not bad at all for this first flight. I'm actually not even full in first, but I'm sure everyone's gonna get upgraded. We're gonna fill first class up and I do have a meal. So I really hope that my assist is really good because yeah. Meal flights can be stressful. I am excited. I am really excited. I hope, I just hope everything goes smoothly. Got the essentials. First thing I do as flight leader is brief the gate agent and then I go down to the aircraft to brief my crew. I go ahead and set up first class, put off the waters, wipe everything down, do my pre-flight checks, turn on the lights, and open the flight. Next, I have to set up my galley. I like to count all my meals, make sure they're all there so everyone gets their food. And I prepare my manifestation sheet so when the first class passengers come on, I can get whatever they want to eat written down. And I go ahead and set up for the pre-departure beverage service for our first class passengers. I'm leaving the crew room now. I have three minutes to get over to B Terminal. Wish me luck. We are here. We are done with the day. I'm gonna go check the room for Bugs and Thugs and then I'll be right back to give you the hotel room tour. This is what you see when you first walk in, a little living room area. You walk in here. This will serve as our kitchen area. Then our bathroom, actual, bedroom do y'all think i have a view because i don't think i have a view <laughs> this is what we're working with the highway and there's the mall okay so let's do a little recap of the day for our first flight we went from boston to atlanta i did a full service in first class they got their meals and drinks and pre-departures everything and it went perfectly you guys my assist was pretty good so that was good i love having a nice helpful assist i didn't realize until i was flight leader like how good i am at being first class assist because that is my favorite position to be on um the aircraft but mine was she was she was good she was pretty good i really 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 appreciated having her on the plane with me and as always, I try to make sure I express that. Uh, we got lots of compliments today. It was, why is it in my ear? It was great, it was so good. I might like being flight leader, you guys. I can't believe I'm saying that. I truly just cannot believe it. After that, we had a small little sit in Atlanta. I sat in the crew room, and then we had our flight from Atlanta to, where are we? Raleigh, Durham. Now, y'all know I do not like Raleigh, Durham. But what I will say is we're in a different hotel. This hotel in Raleigh, I like, because we have like a 16 hour, probably more than that layover here. It's the other one, the one that looks like a plantation that I don't like. So I do have beef with Raleigh Durham, but not this one. Two shocking things for my loyal subscribers. One, I like being flight leader now, and two, I like Raleigh Durham. Who would have ever guessed it? It was such a good day, I'm really excited. So the crew and I are gonna go out and walk to the mall that's across the street. And we're going to go to Cheesecake Factory, which I've never been to before. I'm gonna go to the mall, do a little shopping. I probably shouldn't because I don't have any room in my bag for anything, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I so said I was gonna go to the gym at least one time for every rotation. So every three day trip, we have two layovers. I have to go to the gym on at least one of them. And why not pick a city that I hate? Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Raleigh Durham is not the new Garden City, Kansas. <laughs> I just wanna go ahead and say thank you for the comments because I know y'all are gonna comment some sweet stuff about me being happy and thank you because I know y'all and I love y'all and I appreciate y'all so if you do like flight vlogs keep on watching like comment subscribe to my channel all of that good stuff and I Okay, I've been in here for a couple of hours now and the crew said they want to go out and eat or they said they were gonna start texting plans at around um, 4.30. So I need to go shower and get ready for dinner. I'm not wearing
bring pants because I didn't bring any pants. Oh my goodness. I have about 30 shirts. Not a single pair of pants. I'm pantsless. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna end part one right here. I hope y'all are looking forward to seeing what happens with me walking around looking like Winnie the Pooh. So this was day one through three of a day six. I'm back tomorrow to see a days three through six and what happened to my lost pants.